Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm really excited to be doing my first collab with Amy from Dolly Mama Beauty. We're going to be doing a palette bingo with the palette that Emily Noel 83 made, the Makeup Revolution. This is the Emily Edit the Once palette. If you haven't seen it before, it is a rather large, colorful palette, so we thought it would be perfect to do a palette bingo with, especially because I think Emily Noel 83, she either created the palette bingo or she was one of the first people to popularize it and we just thought that would be perfect and it'd be a whole lot of fun to do this video so i did mention amy back when i did her tag video i think it was last week for the palette partners tag if you missed that i'll throw it up on the cards so i talked a little bit about her there but if you haven't seen her channel i would totally check it out one of my favorite series that she's done was with her daughter delilah she did the makeup olympics and honestly those are just some of the sweetest cutest videos I've ever seen and there's actually some really great information in there too. So I would check out the palette tag video that I did with her first and then I would go check out the Makeup Olympics because that was just such a that really cute series. Okay so before we jump into the palette bingo don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like collabs like this and I hope if you haven't already you would consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. So I just have on a super nude lip because obviously I have no idea what the eyeshadow is going to look like. The Emily palette is six columns by four rows. So what I have are two random number generators here on my phone, one set between one and six and one set between one and four. So I'm going to get a random number from both of those and then we'll just go down the column. I'll actually, I'm trying not to blind you guys with the mirror, but I'll start from the top and work my way down to the bottom. I'll swatch each shade and let you guys know which one that I pick. And once we've picked all five shades, we'll jump into the eye look. Okay, so let's pick our first number. Our first column is column two. And what row are we going to do? Two and two. So that is actually the shade right here, dues paid. Let me go ahead and swatch it. I'm going to swatch it on my arm just because I think it's a little bit easier to see. Awesome. So we have Deuce Paid right here. It's a very warm brown, like a transition kind of shade. Okay, our second column. We have column five and row one. So that is side. Nope, I can't. Can I count? So that is the shade Good Vibes right here. So let me go ahead and swatch this. Ooh, that's like a perfect fall color. It's like a nice shimmery coppery color so it's like a nice warm shimmery copper shade that i think is gonna look really nice with this shade right here okay We're doing pretty good so far let's see next we have column two again and which row let's see and row four so two and four gives us the shade laugh cry which looks to be really like orangey red this is a nice coral color so we have a nice matte coral shade we're getting some interesting vibes from this i'm feeling kind of modern renaissance-y <laughs> but let's see we have two more to go our next column we got column three what row let's see what row and row two Ooh, we got a color this is the color eve rose this is like a light light lavender lilac shade Ooh, let us swatch this let's swatch it up top Oh, you can almost kind of barely see it. It's interesting because it looks really lavender in the pan, but when you actually swatch it out, it's got only like a hint of lavender to it. And it looks almost like, like Sailor from ColourPop, that Super Shock shadow that I like. The way that it looks nude. Interesting, interesting. It does have a nice shimmer to it, and I think it does look nice with the rest of the colors. It, it just doesn't pop as much as the other ones. Okay. For our last shade, let's find our column. Column one, okay. Column one, row one. <laughs> so we ended up with the cream. It's literally a cream shade. It's a, a bright white matte shade. Let me just... 
There we go. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so those are our five shades, one for each letter, B, I, N, G, and O. Okay, interesting, interesting. I think we've got some good things to work with here. So let me go ahead and wipe the swatches off and then we'll jump into the look. Okay, so I think I actually have a good idea of what I want to do with this look. So I'm gonna start with the cream, that light shade, and I'm first just gonna put that all over my lid. I already primed and set the primer using shades from the Needs palette by Emily. I'm also wearing the Needs palette on the rest of my face today. So blush, bronzer, highlight is all from the other Emily palette. I'm using this just to set a nice lighter base for the rest of the shades that are gonna go on top. So this isn't really gonna peek through as much, but once I finish the rest of my look, I am gonna use this shade to highlight the brow bone and probably the inner corner. Okay, so now that we have that on, I really wanna go in with Laugh Cry and make that my main transition shade since it is the lighter of the mattes that I got. So. I don't know if I want to use, yeah, let's keep with this big brush. This is the Morphe. This is the M504 brush from Morphe. I get a lot of questions about it. It's one of the only good products from Morphe that I've tried. Morphe is so hit and miss. And at this point, like, I really don't want to recommend them. But I'll let you guys know what of the few good products that I found from them are if, you, if you're really interested. What I'm finding with a lot of the mattes in this palette is that they're not super pigmented right from the get-go. That's not a terrible thing. Like, you do have to build the shades up a bit, but they're still blendable. Like, I would have an issue if I had to build up and there was no pigment and it wouldn't blend. That would be bad. And I feel like this is kind of um, par for the course when it comes to Makeup Revolution shadows from the videos that I've seen, is that you really just have to put a little bit more work, spend time building the color up to exactly what you want it to be. Oh my god, the palette's actually so big, it's blocking the light that I have over there. Okay, we'll keep it lower. See if I can make it lower. Okay, so now that I have Laugh Cry all up in my transition, I want to jump in next with Dews Paid and just kind of deepen up my fake crease. I say my fake crease because with hooded eyes, I'm not going to go right into my actual real crease. So I'm going to take this on a smaller blending brush. This is the E25 from Sigma, and I'm just going to lay a little bit on that outer part of the V, and I'm bringing it above my actual crease right here and kind of making myself a new crease. And doing the same thing, slowly building it up. I am getting a hell of a lot of fallout though, so I should have put some trend, like some light powder on first. So I am gonna real quick just throw down some uh, loose powder from Natasha Denona under my eyes, just to catch any other fallout that might happen as I finish. Okay, so I'm actually really liking how those two shades look together, Laugh Cry and Dews Paid. And they're two shades that I actually wouldn't have put together on my own, but they do work out really cute. So now that that's blended out, I, let's see, so we have Dews Paid, we have Laugh Cry, we have to use Eve Rose Good Vibes, and then we have the cream. So for my lid shade, I really want to use Eve Rose all over my lid, and then I'm going to take Good Vibes, that darker shimmer, on my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with, of course, my tried and true NYX Glitter Glue, and then go on top of that with Eve Rose. Okay, so I will say I did struggle with building up Eve Rose on my lid. It took me a few layers to get it to the way that I wanted it to look, and I used a brush on this side, and then I used my finger on this side. And even like using my finger, I felt it was a little bit hard to get the pigment onto my finger and then onto my lid. But I've been testing this palette out for a while now, and that's the only shade that I've really found, if any bit, difficult to work with. But now that the upper part of my lid is done, I'm just going to wipe off this powder so I could get to my lower lash line. And again, for my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking that darker shimmer shade Good Vibes. So, 
I'm actually using the smaller Emily palette as my mirror because it's almost too much to hold up the other palette. So let's go. Okay, so I'm actually really liking how that looks, but again, I'm getting a lot of fallout. So I'm just gonna go back in with the loose powder and clean that up since I'm done with all the dark shades. Awesome. So now to finish the eyeshadow portion of the look, I just wanna take the first shade or the last shade that we got cream, and I'm just gonna use this to highlight my inner corner and then highlight my brow bone. So let's go in. Right there. Oh, that looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go do liner, mascara, and then I'll okay. be Okay, so with liner and mascara on, this is the final look. I'm actually really, really happy with it. I would definitely go with like a darker lipstick next time. This is actually the Stila Liquid Lipstick in Carmelo. It's a really nice nude, but I feel like for a warm look like this, I'd probably go for more of like a deep, maybe even an orange, maybe more of like a dark burgundy, match the ears. <laughs> But I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Other than the issues that I had with Eve Rose on my lid, I really do enjoy this palette. Again, this isn't going to be a palette that works the same way as a palette from like ABH or a palette from Lorac. They're shadows that you have to work with just a little bit differently. You don't have to go way out of your comfort zone and learn how to use the shades differently but they're not gonna be like bright on your eye. You're gonna have to build up the mattes a little bit. The shimmers, some of them take some work, but like the shimmer on my lower lash line, the, what shade was it again? The Good Vibes shade, that one popped up really nicely. So I think for the most part, this is a great palette. It's also gigantic. That's my head and that's the palette. I think this is incredible for the price point that it's at. And I really think Emily did a great job with the palette. I have also been using and testing out the Needs palette from Emily. If you guys want to see a full video either on just the Needs or the Needs and the Ones with a full review like format, let me know down below. But I was really excited to get these palettes and I'm happy with the way they are performing so far. Thank you so much, Amy, for collabing with me on this. I had a whole lot of fun and I was really glad that we were able to do this. Everyone else, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you also have the Emily Wants palette, please do something similar. I would love to see looks with it. I would love to see you guys do a palette bingo similar to this. And I just want to see if you guys are enjoying the palette as much as I've been enjoying it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope if you haven't already, you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.